Go. Welcome to the Arena Coop. This is Adwokta. This is Murps. We're playing Priest. We're gonna lose. Well, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe well, I think we've gone over this. We're actually just coming off from uh, a Lightforge with Ratsma, and he said that his number one class in since TGT has started is Priest. Now, that's surprising, one, because it's Ratsma, and he was, like, the most aggro player uh, in TG, uh, at GBG. But also, like, I've been doing pretty well with Priest, too, and I've always, like, hated it, and it's always been my worst class. And the last time we did Priest, we got, like, what, like, nine wins or something, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, my personal record's somewhere, like, oh, it's probably even higher now, because I only did one Priest run so far in LOE, and it went 12. So, like, it, it, I can't explain why it's good. But the results kind of speak for themselves, where yeah, compared to even Shaman and Warlock, which you see here, it's like potentially okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I have no strong feelings. Actually, no, I have strong feelings towards a priest. I just don't like the priest. Um, plays very slow, and you guys might be surprised because I play very slow as well. Um, Murps wants to make sure that people know that he's the one making it slow, so not the game. Piercy 200 SX, 10 months. 10 months. That's a long time, man. Thanks wow. for sticking around for so long. Like, yeah. that, people who uh, have been around for um, more than like the five month mark have basically stuck around and still subbed through like a hiatus where we streamed for two months just like once uh, a, a week. So yeah. that's dedication right there. Uh, and you guys, though, by the way, there's there's a special surprise for the subs um, who are who are subbed for 12 months in a row when that happens. There is? There is. There is. Oh, okay. We, we, we planned... Uh, never mind. We did? Does it involve me? Ne never mind, Murps. Never mind. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll see, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah. I did that. <laughs> I was just testing you, man. Of course I know about it. Um, oh, so Priest. Um, yeah, I just don't like the class. But we're playing it because it's the coop and we've been doing this. And that's the best reason to do things because we've been doing it in the past. Boom. You can tell how excited I am about this arena coop. Hello? Yeah, I'm screwing up with the overlay. Hold up. Excellent. I thought I just, we just dropped. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Murps gets sold. Nice. I don't think that... Wait, can that happen? That can't happen. Can I sell you? No, that's illegal <laughs> in the United States by the 13th Amendment. Mm, yes. Ooh, guys, you're getting a constitutional lesson here as well. Um, all right. Let's do it. Let's get this started. Let's go. Share your screen. Oh, yeah. That's something I forgot to something do. Something you always forget. Uh, something you have a lot of trouble. You know, just... I'm just hoping if I don't share my screen, I get, I get things more my way in the draft because you won't be able to see what the cards are. Excellent. Ooh. Very interesting. So, all right, we're not in Constructed, and we're not playing Dragon Priest, so Wormrust Agent is going to be a no. And it's between two pretty good twos, especially for Priest. Um, what, are, what are your thoughts here? Uh, they're value the same in Priest, but, you know, Shadow Boxers, come on, man. Mm, I think I actually going to go for the wild pyro for the possible like one damage to everything clear. I just hate wild pyro. I think because I suck with it. I don't think it's because the card is bad. I think I just like screw myself over unintentionally so often. Yeah. So um, if we take wild pyro, it's on you to make sure I don't screw up. Oh, okay. Then we're definitely taking the shadow boxer. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm, like, um, open to giving you your card, your preference here, and you're like, oh, no, responsibility. Responsibility, man. That's not what I do. I just, you know, yeah, yeah. I can't even talk. How, how can you expect me to carry this run? That's a, that's a mm -hmm. huge burden. Okay. Also, Flood Killer, thanks for subbing. Eight months in a row. This happened a little bit ago. <laughs> just calling Thank it out so now. Much. Yep. All right. So, Shadow Boxer. And Wait, are we really doing Shadow Boxer? Well, if it means that you're taking responsibility for this run, then yeah. All right, so this is how co-ops work. Yeah. I'm going to accept the responsibility, and I'm going to take the Of course you are. Boxer. Okay. All right, Spider Tank, Spider Tank. Spider tank. Yes. Uh, novice Engineer. 
Uh, We're not going to be able to draft any weapons, most likely. No. <laughs> not weapons. Are you thinking about the inner fire? Not really. Okay. Okay. We could go with the novice and just kind of punt this. Mech Yeti. Yes. Temple Enforcer. It's a great card. Tempo Enforcer. That's a great card. So we raised Circle of Healing fairly recently. We because did. as it turns out, the zero mana tempo swing for the priest, just to help it get on the board and stay on the board, is pretty ridiculously huge. Yeah. So you want to put uh, put our mouths where, put our money, put our actions where our mouth words. <laughs> I don't want to do any of that, okay? I don't want to put my mouth anywhere. I don't want to do anything that you're talking about or thinking about. You, you, you want to pick the circle of healing instead of the iron beak out here? No responsibility, right? Um, okay, I mean, okay. Let's, let's, what is? What do we turned into? What is this? <laughs> yeah, guys. By the way, if you're wondering what the asterisk means, it means the second one has less value. The second version of the card, or like the third one, just means it degrades a lot. Like you don't want a lot of these clogging up your hand. All right. Okay, I can go with the circle of healing. I can get behind this. Let's put our whatever. We have a where. shadow box or two, right? Yeah. Like we have stuff. Um, ship's cannon. Yeah, ship's cannon is good. Yeah, I guess temple enforcers are battle cries. Novice engineer is a battle cry. Ooh, ooh. Dark iron. You know what I want? I love shadow or pain. I would take I it over a Dark Iron. Okay. Um, the reasoning but, is just because cheap, well, small removal. The, right. The reasoning is that if you really want a, a swing turn, right, you would just Shadow Word Pain um, if something's going to stick on the board anyway. And if something's not going to stick on the board, that's when you Dark Iron because you hit into a big thing with a small thing. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you're going to lose the board anyway. Yeah. Um, so part of the reason that I like Dark Iron Dwarf here is it seems like we're going to get it to hit. You know, we have some twos. You know, we have the requisite number of twos. We have a good three. Um, it, it seems as though we're going to get the early game. Um, but I, I can go with either one, honestly. Because Shadow or Pain is like the same, right? You just Shadow or Pain the target instead of Dark Ironing it away. And then you play like a two drop or something, and it's a lot less situational. But you don't get a four four body; you get like a three two or a two three. Uh, and well, I mean, and not... the upside is that you can take care of like three fives and things like that. You know. Okay, um, I think either one is fine. Yeah, if you want the shadow word pain, I'm, I'm very, you know, I'm very okay with it. I'm gonna take a shadow word pain. We'll okay. see if that bites us. Premium cards. Yep. Twilight Drake, Pine Size Summoner, Convert. Uh, I don't love the Drake here, but I think I might go for it. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like the best of bad options. We're definitely not seeing yeah. Pine Size. Exactly. All right. 10 cars. Welcome to the Grid and Goat. Thanks for subbing. Thank you for your support, man. Toon Leader. Four months in a row. Sub train hype. This is yeah. great. Thank you guys for your support. This is awesome. We hope to uh, get more wins than there is subs, which as of right now, I don't know if that's possible. But it could be. Possible. Hey, this deck is good. We have two temple enforcers. Why, right, right. Why? No, it You're will be. You're just a good. hater today. No, no, sorry. I can't hate because it's all on you. Yes, oh, that's right. Oh, good. Power Word Shield. Power Word Shield. Awesome. Uh. I hate Spawn of Shadows less than other people. It's okay, right? It's um, it's a thing. Yep. Yep. It's a thing. Okay. Re We're just gonna go with the it's a thing. Resurrect is not really a thing. Okay. Okay. I buy that. Right. Uh huh. I mean, Resurrect is a thing as well, but I guess it's less of a thing than Spawn of Shadows. Mm -hmm. Also, Retro Gold, welcome to the Grinning Goat. We missed that sub. It's actually a sub train. <laughs> we're wow. so not used to a sub train that we're just like we're missing not. people. Guys, thank you so much. This is uh, this is awesome. I don't know yeah. what I see in us right now because I think I'm being a little kooky. 
uh Advict, uh you know he is the he's he's gonna carry me for this run uh i mean I, you're giving me all the responsibility that i have no other options yeah, I, and by give, I mean kind of like forcefully placed it onto your back uh, and then just said, here you this go. Is, this is how much Murps hates Priest. <laughs> mm. No, it really is. It really is. Um, I'm okay with Smart right. Shadows. Okay, so I don't like re uh, Resurrect because if you look at this, we have a whole bunch of like random crappy twos so far. We may even get some you know, even crappier cards. And when we resurrect a Twilight Drake, it's going to suck. And the Temple Enforcers aren't even the best for six. Like it's just, it's not a Resurrect deck. All right. Cool. I buy into that logic. Awesome, awesome. So now you get a Cavaldier Raider, a Dragonkin Sorcerer, or a Direwolf Alpha. Ah, hmm. oh, this is rough. It is pretty rough. Okay, so... Let's see, we have how many twos? One, two, we don't have two true twos. Uh, they are both two threes, which is decent for Dire Wolf, but we, so we have one three. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three true fours, you know, Twine Drake. Uh, it's still mm -hmm. a true four. Dragonkin is better in Priest because of the buffs, um, just mm -hmm. like how it's better in Paladin as well. Cavalier Raider is pretty decent, but as a five, it doesn't do it's new not stuff. A five. Welcome to the Grinning Goat Corrosis. Nice. We this is uh, let's let's keep All it going, right. guys. Yeah, if we keep, keep this going, going, we may reach our uh, next chat icons, uh, which is the oh, Chinchilla, Chinchilla Riot. Riot. Yes, Corrosis. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Glad you like what you see over here. Um, so the problem with the Cavaldia Raider is uh, it doesn't exactly match up with our sixes, right? Like yeah. you never want a Cavaldia Raider into Temple Enforcer. Uh, that's not really the way to go. Yep. Um, I'm okay with a Dragonkin, actually. Just to, like, solidify our four so we don't have to do that anymore. Okay, sure. I'm okay with that. It's a little early, but, like, as the priest, you really want, like, five fours, you know? Because that's the turn that, like, really you, you settle down with it. And the fours with five health is disproportionately more useful for priest. Yeah. So that's Sorry. one of the reasons why Spawn of Sash Shadows people, like, don't like. Um, okay. But we just didn't have good choices there. And the Twilight Drake, who knows, right? Okay, yep. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hungry Dragon is a card, but it's really awful for Priest. Because you kind of need the board already. And if you have the board already, you're pretty good already. C. Lynch 0043. Welcome to the Grinning Goat. Oh Thanks my for gosh. Let's all oh, this train. I'm loving it. This is good. I feel like dancing or something, but that would probably stop this up, so I won't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Immediately, we get unsub notifications. Twitch just, like, does that just for us. Like, little whispers coming in. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, we might be a little bit slow on the uh, sub announcements, but we'll, we'll get all of them. Thank you guys so much for your support. This really means a lot to us. What do you mm -hmm. think about War Golem? Uh, yeah, that's what I want to actually pick the War Golem over the Hungry Dragon. Let's pick the War Golem. Okay, because so the idea is if you're behind on the board and you take a Hungry Dragon, like that stuff happens because your opponent has a one drop and then gets the initiative. But if you're ahead, then you're kind of ahead anyway. This deck is going to yeah. dominate if you're ahead, right? We got two Temple Enforcers, Power Word Shield, Circle of Healing. Like this deck is not going away if it's yeah. on the board. Yep, let's do it. Uh, so Enrico, no, the Chinchilla is not. Uh, this is an easy pick. Um, the chinchillas never bite. They have never bitten me, even though they have razor sharp teeth and they can bite, but they never do. Chinchillas they have razor sharp teeth? Really sharp, yes. Wow. I did not they, know. Uh, yeah, they need to constantly like chew wood in order to, they're like, it's like beavers, right? They need to constantly chew to like file down their teeth. And, uh, I see. Yeah. When I feed them as well, sometimes they like nibble on my hand or not nibble, but you know, like, like I can feel how sharp their teeth are, but they never bite. Mm -hmm. Okay, Holy Nova? Yeah, definitely. Power Word Shield over Yeti. Power Word Shield just wins you games, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. It's higher Power on the tier it. list. We don't need fours. I, I, I would I would do it. it. It's it's just such a game-winning card. Flexible game-winning card. Um, do we have dragons? We have a Dragon Consorcer. That's a dragon. So we're taking the Frost Wolf? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think that's a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good call. 
Oh, hey, Holy Champion, the worst card in the entire game. Let's take it. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, so what we're talking about, in case you guys don't know, would be... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, are you going to finish that thought, or...? No, I, I had no thought. Okay. So what we're talking about, if you don't know about the Holy Champion, is that statistically, um, it performs like the worst on the win rates of like almost any card, even though it's a really good card, because people are greedy with it. Uh, our hypothesis is that people keep trying to get value for it, when really, it's really a 3-5 with upside, and they're treating it as like a necessary game winner. Okay. Uh, we take the Ancient Shade here, and then we're actually a little overloaded on fours, but we'll live. Sure. I'm thinking about the master spell. Mm -hmm. I guess the thought is done. Okay. I guess I'm done with my thought. And yeah, this could have been a decent uh, Pyromancer deck, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Also, that is... Oh, yes. Cultist. We need threes. We don't need threes that bad. Ah, which one? Which one do we take? Probably the Northshire Zombie Chow. <laughs> if you cook fast enough, can you select both of them? I might. You know my APM, dude. Oh man, dude, it's totally. Okay, if this deck is really good, and right now it's a pretty good value deck, right? Then we should mm -hmm. just take the Chow. I agree. I right? think the cleric is greedy. We don't even have valence to like buff it or anything like no. that. So if our deck is good enough, we take the chow. Ectoplasm yep. says Alecto Ratsma just told you guys that zombie chow is a must. That is true. Ratsma did just say on the life forge that zombie chow is a must for a priest. Shoot. Nah, and we got and he, he's good with priests. We gotta mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. <gasps> what do we do? We how many fours do we one two? I, three, I take four. another holy nova. Oh, it's a shredder. Probably. I take another Holy Nova. I yeah. don't care. I, we don't need that many fours. We're overloaded on fours. Okay. Shredder is also something you can't heal. Mm -hmm. Upgrade or repair bot is something that can buff a spider tank. Or a or, Yeti. Or it could have buffed the shredder that we don't have anymore. Just a real positive person today, aren't you? Uh, another Clockwork Knight or a Dragon of Crusher? I think Dragon of Crusher is just not what we're doing. What do you mean another Clockwork Knight? This is... No, if we pick that, then we'll have both Oh, of the... the upgraded Repair Bot's not a Clockwork Knight. <laughs> nope. Okay. All right, let's make a Mech Priest. Do we have enough mechs? I guess we do have enough mechs. We have plenty of mechs. And plus, like, with Dragon of Crusher, is not... it's a 6-mana six 6-6 six, six, or a 5-mana five 5-5. Five. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're, no, we're taking I agree. the Clockwork Knight. Uh, oh, Mech Warper. Mm. And we actually need twos, because we only have three twos right now. Okay. Okay, I can get behind this. Mech Priest. Let's go. Me uh, no. We need twos. Wait. Um... We have four twos and a Zombie Chow. We also need threes. Damn it. Damn it. Oh gosh. Like, this is pick number 27. We're going curve here. We're not going value. That's true. We gotta go curve. We should win mm -hmm. the value game. I could even take Iron Forge Rifleman here over uh, River Croc, but I think I'm okay with the River Croc. Okay. R River Croc is, yeah. All right. It's pain. It's definitely a little bit painful, guys, but. Oh, great. Knife Juggler. Knife Juggler, sure. Hopefully, we'll get the Power Word Shields. To do things on turn three because we do not have a three three mana play. I know, but oh, sure. injured blade master with a circle of healing. I, no, I was looking at that too, but oh gosh, that is pretty powerful. But can we give up a knife juggler? I guess you could because it is a priest. Mm -hmm. And guys, I know we can heal the injured blade master, but it's like <laughs> okay. So what? It's on turn five and you play a yeti. That's basically what it is. Or on turn three, they don't kill it and you can heal it. That's... Uh, uh. Injured with circle. Injured with circle. Chat's going crazy for injured with circle. That's a nice poem you got there. All right. Uh, once again, this is your pick. I'm actually going to go with injured. 
because okay. it fits the curve better. Not that knife juggler is not great, but like, when are we really going to be in a position where we're throwing out knives? That's true. Okay, y- y- you're right. Most of the time, it's just going to be a glorified raptor. Yep. Oh, Speaking so- of glorified oh, raptors, sorry. now we can get oh, a man. real this raptor. Says when you talk trash about someone and they're right behind you, you know? Damn, I'm sorry, raptor. Spellbreaker? Um, what? Or raptor. I thought we wanted a non-glorified One, two, raptor. Three, four, we have five. We have five. enough twos. We have twos. We have powered shield. We have... We don't uh, have enough threes. We have three threes. It's kind of low. So if we don't have enough threes, then twos can also help fill in a little bit of that as well. This is what Rasmo was talking about, right? We needed enough early game to have that consistency. So you take the rap- a raptor for consistency. You take the spellbreaker because it's. A Did he want part. six twos though? I don't know. We should have asked him for specifics. <laughs> Rasmo. Uh, but send no, us a like, sign, man. Send us a zombie, sign. Zombie Chow, like, functions as a two also. It does. So we actually have six twos. Like, I don't feel the need to take the Bloodfin Raptor. Okay, so you want and to take yes, the Yes, chat, I understand that TK Lots a mech, and we are a mech priest. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think it's the strongest mech out there. I'll take some value here. Like, let's be honest, this deck doesn't have a ton of value. No. It's kind of just like hanging on when it comes to the value. So okay, let's go. Uh, the chat's telling us Ratsmo would take a two. Shady says he would. Pick Shady's the in the chat. Shady's mm. talking about a two. Are we? Are we being swayed to take a two? Our six two when we have a zombie chow for this seven is what cards. Happens, one man. to two. Like it used to just be us two. Like playing this with our crummy opinions and then these other these like good players have to come in and taint our like bad average on sundays actually make us uh, okay we can take the raptor okay okay we're gonna take the raptor okay we're gonna wow. take the raptor this is the first time in sunday coop history where we've been swayed by yep. someone else yes yes yes, yes. it's true by congratulations chat, by shady and by uh, okay, easy, by ratsma e- e- easy 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 this is also good Lord, right so now we have... Oh, come on, seriously. Fine. I just really wanted to heal the injured Blade Master, and the Akunai is going to be competing for that same card. I think we can take the Akunai here. So, but we have a deck. Shady broke tradition. No, you... Look, you started a new tradition. Probably a better tradition, because we suck on Sundays. It's true, we do suck on Sundays. <laughs> Like our our win rate. Well, okay, our win rate on Sundays, first of all, is not awful. It, no, it's still it's like not... seven point five or four five. or something like that. But, but our, our win, win rates rate, on non Sundays. Uh, <laughs> like, oh jeez, yeah. Like my win rate for TGT was ridiculous, and then so far in LOE, um, with a very small sample size, we're both doing very well. And then there's Sundays. But okay, so we have this deck. Um, I will talk about it first. I think it's okay. pretty decent. I think, uh, you know, you have your win condition set. You know, we have a lot of buffs, which is good for Priest. Two power word shields, fantastic. Um, we have some cute combos uh, as well, um, which can... Cute? We have some sexy combos. Why did you just have to make it weird? You didn't have to one-up me there. That was unnecessary. I, I thought that was important. When you're no, talking it's... about constructed level combos, those are more than cute combos. Cute combos are like, oh, you inner fire uh, Oasis Snapjaw. So, guys, okay, for those of you in the chat clamoring for a co-op with Shady, we, you, you guys should know how much we love Shady. But unfortunately, this is just one of those things that we have to do by ourselves because we've always been doing it that way. And that is how things work in this world. <laughs> good, good, do you, good reasoning, do you, do you have a better explanation for it? Nope, nope, I don't. Nope. But uh, we are, if you missed the... Uh, the two runs with Shady uh, yesterday, they both went 12 wins again. Um, and so they'll be on our YouTube like in the next couple weeks or something. Um, and they're also, you know, chock filled with your normal, uh, uh, your the expected amount of back and forth and analysis. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Can I just keep on watching your screen share or do I have to spectate you? Please spectate. Oh. Okay, fine. 
I'll, I'll screen share. I don't know why you prefer the like because I one see frame per second. At. I want to see right. what you're pointing at. All right, all right. Also, this takes takes me way back. <laughs> it's nostalgia. It's there nostalgia were okay, guys. There were quite a few months when I didn't play Hearthstone. I just like watched how to play Hearthstone and kind of like, you know, backseat drove. Just keep the chow. Um, and when I ever, whenever I, because all right, those were the days I was playing Diablo three, and I was, uh, as, if you guys didn't know, I was actually number one on the Greater Rift rankings for uh, like a two week span. This is in hardcore as well, so was, this was something. Um, and so I was like heavily playing Diablo three, and I just did, I kept on watching the Google Hangouts version, and then whenever I went into real Hearthstone, I was like, whoa, this game doesn't just operate at two frames per second it's amazing and now i'm watching this and it's just taking me back to the days when i just like ran g rift after g rift with my firebird source uh sorry my firebird wizard i said sorceress but sorceress is from d2 see this is what i like about playing priest it's so peaceful <laughs> there are no decisions to make Merps can tell like literally a six minute story about a totally different game and you have missed no hearthstone it's so analysis. good it's so good oh yeah all the anti-tempo greetings it's okay we did it on purpose so now our drake will be a a four five yep so guys yes i was a wizard I was a firebird wizard. Were you a woman? Yes, I was. Okay, you. Yes, I, I, of course I was. Okay. I'm just curious which one you were. Okay. Cool. Couldn't get the holy champion in before that happened. Uh, we do the Drake for the extra attack rather than the holy champion for the heal. No, we do the holy champion for the uh, heal. Ah, holy champion about. is. It should be okay. Well, okay, so here's a consideration, right? Um, mm -hmm. Let's not play yet, because he still has a coin. He hasn't used that. So he could coin into Druid of the Claw, right? So Twilight Drake would be enough. The other one, Holy Champion, we would have to, like, Nova it. But well, you just Frostwolf and then do nothing. Uh, I guess that's okay, too. Um, okay, you know what? We're not actually going to Nova the next turn anyway. Let's just put a Drake out. There's we're not keeper... gonna we're not gonna heal for a while either, right? Because we have five yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, there's keeper considerations as well, but if he's just keepers, he silences. We're basically just trading a four for a four, so that's okay too. <laughs> FS4 <laughs> Sound says, if you play champion, commit yourself to healing next turn if you play something. No, no, we do not. That's why holy champion has such a bad win rate. You just pretend you don't have the ability instead of trying to like anti temple yourself by healing. Uh, you know, just frost. Sorry, I felt very strongly about that. Okay. It was really sad for me to see Holy Champion's win rate so low. Okay. Uh, just frost will face. Yeah, yeah. Frost will face. We could clean up with uh, a Nova afterwards if necessary. It probably would be. So here's his turn. He still doesn't use coin. Um, so you could coin, have six mana. So he could hero power drop a four or hero power drop a three. Um, and then afterwards, he'll be off the four one and whatever we he has, we could bump the six six into it and Nova. That seems pretty decent. And then we can follow wow. it up with. That was a really long term thinking analysis. I'm impressed. I know. No, no problem, man. Silence. Swipe. Gotcha. That's now good. coin hero power. Nope. So no. he's not good at this game. We can just win now. What What was the point of that? He just doesn't know the game. What? He probably also has twos and he just chose to hero power. What was the point of that? Okay. It's cool, man. It's <gasps> cool. What? Wait, we can't really. <laughs> I'm like, we, we kind of need to kill the four one off the board now. Yeah, we do. So, do you just want to hit in a holy nova? Yeah, I do. I, I know the holy champion seems like a really sexy play. Yeah, it is, but no, I mean you can't. Like, 
right? We just holy nova. We, we keep our advantage. <laughs> I think okay that sounds it. good. I think that sounds good. Let's just do it. We press some face damage. Yeah. So for people who want holy champion, that's why <laughs> holy champion doesn't win as much because you kind of have to go out of your way here to try to build a holy champion that has no initiative when he's at 14 health and you have eight damage on the board oh shoot we played into his trap we got trapped now now we're dead we Foss the hs yeah. says wait wasn't i gonna call it holy champion sexy when he first saw the art no that wasn't holy champion come on get us straight that was maiden of the lake Mm. So um, true. We could just tempo enforce so that yeah, he sure. can't remove the six six. Well, he could remove the other six six, but I guess he can't remove that six six. It's better than War Golem. Is kind of what I'm getting at. Is it? <laughs> sure, it is. Okay. Because uh, you always give him a 6-6 six, six to remove, or a 7-7, seven, seven, I guess, you know? Um, and then you... Okay, fine, just Temple Enforcer. I think it's okay. I, I could just War Golem. I, I just don't see the difference between... Because he always removes one, and then you have the 6... And then you could just Temple Enforcer next turn. I was just playing it safe. Incoming? Uh, maybe, but he doesn't have Iron Bark, so let's we'll see what happens. I was just trying to play it safe, you know? Get the value off the Temple Enforcer now. But I a 7-7 is fine. fine, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Yeah, probably. <laughs> we were thinking way too much for this guy who swiped in order to deal one damage. Oh my gosh, that was... <laughs> I mean, how do you... It's just, it's, some things don't deserve more thought, you oh, know? Oh, man. I'm just like, this is good. We're good. Things are good. What about Temple Enforcer, Trey, Circle of Healing? That was a, you know, that was a move as well. Um, I think you could have done that, but I kind of just want to push his face a little bit. Uh, it's a turn before Iron Bark, and, uh, you know, you could be afraid of something like Ancient of War, but... Not gonna play around an epic card. Ooh, Bloodfen into Shrinkmeister. Yes. Into yeah. Into Fork Lightning. Whatever. That would be a two for two. <gasps> Ooh. That so Fork Lightning is gonna hurt so bad. No, 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 it's not. I don't know why you're making up these cards, man. Stop it. Leon Admiral says, Arukta, you were thinking too much for the class you are playing. Agreed. Oh, look. We lost. We're screwed already. We, we, we passed, right? Wait, what? Why? What? No, oh, you want to you... pass and then Bloodfen shield? Yeah. But then you don't have a three mana follow up. We shrink Meister after that. You could coin out. I mean, you if you want to coin out, I just think that it's no. You're right. Yeah, like you're coining into a disadvantage. You know. You're right. You're right. Cool. Oh Ooh. yes, shadow boxer coin, power word shield. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, now we can do some crazy, probably not crazy stuff. We can do some stuff. I mean, he's just gonna kill it, but that's fine. Maybe. If he kills it, he kills it. That's cool. I hope he doesn't have a three mana play. Yeah, me too. He's got to kill it. That thing is so dangerous. <laughs> like, if he has one health dude on the board, he has to. There's no there's no alternative. It's just a matter of how. Oh, God, he's definitely killing it now. Oh, my God. Hmm. 
Interesting. We're just so a heal, heal is up. actually really good here. It's the best. Uh, we just kill the 3-2 and we heal the guy. Uh, Even though we have a Dark Cultist. I don't know. A Dark Cultist is really good. Dark Cultist is really good here. He just needs one buff and he'll clear the board with, with something. If you kill this, you heal it, it's a 2-4 and you would have hit one of them once. Maybe. Okay, 66%. nearly certainly. I want to heal. Alright, it's it's up, it's up to you. Um, I, I think it's too greedy to Dark Cultist. I, that's the greedy play? Uh, okay. I mean, we could Dark Cultist. I think it it I is more just... tempo. Yeah, I mean, I think I would just tempo. Alright. I mean, it's, it's actually, like, definitely more tempo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like the difference between not using a card and using the card is most likely, like, one extra stat on the board. See how this works out. I wonder. Shrinkmeister could be decent next turn, or uh, is he just gonna like go face? Heart. Oh, what? He's gonna let us do this? Uh, lightning bolt. Okay, that's gotcha. fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, Yeti. River Croc and Novice. River Croc and Novice. You don't want to just Yeti? We just Yeti. I thought we just Yeti. I kind of wanted to cycle the Novice, but okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, he I, still I, has to do something. It seems like, you know what? No, you're right. He has nothing to buff, or else he would have buffed instead of using a Right, Yeti. exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're definitely right. Like, he, he basically used the Lightning Bolt as a one damage, you know? Mm -hmm. we like So he doesn't have a buff. He used that as one damage. If he has something, I would be so super surprised. Like, yeah, you're right. It. You're right. That That's a read that he basically gave us. And we should trust in the read. And it's not even like a mana consideration, because he overloaded himself. It's not like he would have a five mana card that buffs one. Yep. Okay. Now we gotta worry about our face. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, like <laughs> shrink well, shrinkmeister croc. Yeah, shrink shrink croc. That seems pretty good. It seems decent. Like, Fire Elemental's coming. It's coming. There's nothing we could do about it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think there is. Um, and you kill the... So if you're worried about the Fire Elemental, you actually kill the 3-1, yeah, correct? Yeah, I was about to yeah. say, you kill the 3-1. I think that's fine. Heal the four five. Never mind. I think we need more attack out on the board. Also, we need something to stick for the temple enforcer, right? Like we're hoping something sticks for the temple enforcer. I don't know. I don't think that was the right play. Oh come on! Wow! What a god! He didn't even trade first. He could have like made sure it happened. I know, he could have made sure it happened. And he was just like, no, nah, who needs that? What a god. Okay. All right. the 
trade. Yeah. I wonder. Six. We we can't be so slow four. to try to use a freeze. We just tempo enforce the two three and like hit into the two six. No, we don't even hit into the two six. I don't think we do. I don't know. What we so we do tempo enforce this and then we hit it into the four two. And then we go face then, with the 2-1. Sure, yeah. I like that better. Then they both die. Well, no. You do that, and then you circle of healing. Oh. Alright. No, that's right. Hmm. Alright. Bloodlust. Or Power Turtle. <laughs> that thing has to die. Where's this Nova? Yeah, we have two of them. Oh, gosh. That is a really good part for him. <laughs> well, we're not dead if we can kill everything on the board. Not dead if we draw a Nova. All right, so we'll... No, we're fine. We heal the face, we free something we can't kill, and we kill the other ones. We and uh, we, 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 we're definitely novicey. Okay, sure. Okay. Okay. So we're, we need to heal our face, or else we're dead. Yes. We need uh, to freeze something. We need to freeze the turtle. Because we can't kill it. Okay. And we drop the thing with the most attack, correct? Sure. So this is the not dead yet play, but dead very soon. We just need a Nova, man. That's mm -hmm. it. Spawn of shadows and heal? Yes. Oh, GG. Oh. Oh. Oh, Shaman, why couldn't you play at our speed? Why couldn't you slow down? Well, no. I mean, the only thing... The the difference maker was the, the bomb lobber that hit. I don't know why he didn't just order that. He knows. You know, he knows he's too good to order that. He doesn't need uh. things like ordering. Yep. That's for lesser people like us. That is. <laughs> the losers. That's for the losers. Yep.